everybody. Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom right hand corner, we have Zealot, who actually, if you have been paying attention to my channel, managed to pull one off from Flash, although Flash was going for a very weird build. But point being, Zealot's been at the top of the ladder recently, and I wouldn't be shocked to see him sneak into ASL and make something happen within the next uh, season or two, bottom left hand corner. We have Sins, who I think has made attempts at ASL runs. I don't think he's made it in, but he's also a top. These are all going to be from the ladder top ladder people. I'm just looking for stuff to do in the meantime. What I need to remember to do is to check out Gosu League to find the player. So I know that Rancor has moved up there. I know that there's a lot of players that have moved up uh, from Hasu League and have done very, very well in Gosu League. And I should start highlighting them as kind of like a side thing. I want to call it like Hasu League graduates or something like that. Anyway, it looks like we're seeing a pylon uh, drop and then a probe making its way across map. Also, in the meantime, for YouTube land, like and subscribe. Feel odd saying that, but helps the algorithm. Let people know. It's casting. I enjoy casting. If I'm not casting to anybody, it makes this a little bit weird because it makes it feel like I'm... Uh, I don't know what that would be, like a person talking to themselves into the room. So when I know there's people watching and enjoying the product, Makes me feel better about what I'm doing overall, if that makes any sense. Anyway, Overlord's making its way top right. Looks like we are seeing an overpool to start. So if this is gateway first, the Zealots are going to need to play a little bit more defensively uh, to start things off. It looks like we're seeing a Forge first opener from Sin, something I haven't seen in quite some time. This has gone mostly out of fashion. Looks like Overlord's been spotted, so Sin's recognizes uh, after checking top right, so it looks like he is going to be able to get the scout following. It looks like he wants to maybe try to sneak the forge straight in the Nexus, but needs to confirm that spawning pool first. The drone, having spotted that, look, I think he spotted that probe across the 9 o'clock, is drawing that drone back. I think it was initially scouting, but recognized he can just move an overlord out that direction. He's going to do a scouting with the zerglings instead. Never mind. Only two zerglings being produced. So, interesting play here from Zealot. He went for the overpool, but didn't really... So, I think he mostly wants the zerglings down... To create a threat, oftentimes when you see an overpool or a nine pool or something along those along those side, you'll see a little bit more aggression. But because it was a smaller drone dedicate or a small, that your larva just weren't there to really give Sins any impression that there was going to be a lot of Zergling flood. He went ahead and dropped that Nexus, and he's getting that photon cannon a little bit later. Now that being said, the early Nexus forge style has pushed out of favor since 973 just because it's a lot harder to defend against this. And this is, whoa, quick third before Extractor from Zealot that was confirmed from Sins. That doesn't preclude 973 play, but that usually suggests you're going to see a much more aggressive early move towards some form of five hatch or kind of the gas play. Sometimes six hatch Mutalisk is the style as well, but also, where are the additional Zerglings? So, so Overlord, sorry, a Zergling, I missed this. A Zergling somehow snuck into the main. Looks like it took a cannon hit. I'm assuming the rest of the Zerglings made a dive for the front and died. But the Zergling in the main actually can be huge help. One, to see the simulator and its timing, but also to notice the Spire timing, or the Spire, the Stargate timing. So we got two Zerglings, it looks like. Sorry, four Z How many Zerglings are left in the field? I have trouble counting here. We are seeing, it looks like, an, an attempt at a maybe at a 973. Usually you don't do this with the probe still alive and able to check the drone lines. But right now, so Overlord, yeah, just Overlord's out there. Just that Zergling, and it looks like the other Zergling died battling it out against probes that were trying to harvest gas. I want to see which probe got the kill. This is the hero probe right here that managed to score the kill. A few more Zerglings have been produced. Still no saturation there at that third, and this probe is very, very healthy. We are starting to see some zoop, decent saturation there and a zealot moving out as well to make sure that additional scouting isn't denied. And I like this play here, moving that early zealot out, especially considering how few zerglings have been produced. Zealot starting to transfer drones out to the three o'clock location and actually backing off. So initially moving the zealot out, I'm, I'm wondering if he feels like he's got the information he was looking for. Now we're seeing Hydra speed kick in. We do see a Stargate dropped, Cybernetics Core is remaining silent, so we're not seeing a plus one upgrade alongside or anything, and another probe sneaking out, but the Hydralisk's already on the way, and I don't know that Sins has done the most amazing job here of getting a lot of scouting information to see it coming. Sometimes when you see that Overlord pushing a little bit further forward, it can be an indicator that the Zerg is going to be 
a bit more aggressive because sometimes you want that overlord to be taking the initial cannon hit or to to allow the hydralisks to get in on the front but now certainly he knows that the hydralisks are starting to assault the front only two dedicating to the front though interesting so just a handful literally just two the zelts are remaining here starting to work on the gateway and the probe able to sneak right back across and wants to see so does see additional hydralis isn't going to get a, a lot of additional scouting information but maybe wanted to see if there is any sort of tech shift or if there are a lot of hydralisks coming this direction we do see a good number making the way this direction that's forcing some cannons out but the way zealot is playing this honestly first of all revealing the hydralisks a lot earlier second of all did that overlord back out? Looks like the overlord went all the way to the south into the main. This is more an indication this is uh, an attempt at a contain and a follow-up economic play rather than aggressive, just straight-up aggressive hydralisk bus play. We'll see if that continues to be the case. First overlord's going to fall to that Corsair interior of the base. There's only two gateways up, a citadel of a dune dropping. We see some get no sudden gas as of yet. And some additional cannons there from Sins, so... This indicates we're probably going to see Zealot leg speed without that second gas to support Pro and Zealot now in the red, by the way. A lot of Hydralisks, though, on the front. But again, just sitting here and not making additional provocations, I think this is, yeah, going to be more macro play. Grabbing that 3 o'clock hatchery, interesting, and dropping an evolution chamber to try to stay ahead, or at least stay relevant in the overall uh, upgrade war. He is not, however, Zealot, pushed and taken down that forge which you'll often see Zerg players do. Now that second assimilator dropping down, one can being canceled to preserve a good amount of minerals. I still think that has cancellation costs. Salt leg speed being upgraded as well and able to swing by and see that layer upgrade as well. Let's see if it moves all the way to the three o'clock to discover that there's four bases up and running, in fact. So it does, in fact, see that three o'clock location and now has the recognition, okay, that this is going to be unintentionally put him in the dark, but you, you can see the information. Also seeing the drone saturation there across the additional bases, so getting an eye full of information. We do have two extractors up, which is getting a lot of gas in here for Zealot. I'm wondering if that's to, if we're going to see additional, I think this is just a preserve for the lurkers to again, maybe go for more of a long-term lurker contain. Plus one weapons is finished. A lot of Zealot stacking up and we'll see if we get a push out once that Zealot leg speed hits. And if that happens before the lurkers are able to establish themselves on the front, if he's able to evict It'll be a much easier situation for Sins, if not, especially because he's playing it rather gateway light. He, th this, the additional three, third and fourth gateway in the main here coming somewhat late, which means there's going to be few results to push out, so, which means these initial zealots are going to have to be all the more effective. They do have that plus one weapons advantage, at least for the time being. It's going to be actually going for plus one weapons rather than carapace, but now the zealots moving out, charging across. But this is just, I think there's too many hydralisks. Corsair also moving up, going to try to disrupt and take out that Overlord. If it can take out that Overlord, there could be a potential follow-up of DTs, and the Zelts at least able to sneak out on the map to create some chaos, and that means these Hydralisks are going to not just be able to sit here. Either we're gonna, there's going to have to be additional defense forces created to defend either the third, uh, the, the mineral only, potentially the natural expansion. As you see, there's just no SimCity there whatsoever. The Zelts actually make a beeline to the three o'clock. Looks like some Hydralisks are preventively going there and they're going to be able to spot a third gas on top of everything else. So Zealot getting very economically aggressive here. The Zealots able to charge in. This should be a winning fight for them. And they've even got the high ground. So able to blockade the ramp. Finally, a lurker egg morphing. I think he was just trying to preserve that last Hydralisk, but the Zealots going to go ahead and march right back out. Now we've got some lurkers on the front and Overlord is preserved. A single High Templar there, but not a lot of defense forces otherwise for Sin. So he's looking into, he's basically turned, this has turned into kind of a classic blockade situation. Zealot has a supply lead, has a very healthy drone count, and things are looking ugly. Also preventively putting down a cannon because, again, seeing that third gas means, they're, ooh, missed this. Dark Templar able to sneak into that mineral only. Get looks, looks like six probe kills right there. So at the very least, but despite that, it's still 30 32 drones overall. The drones evacuating this three o'clock base ahead of time. Nice defensive play, at least by Zealot. Some overlords moving in. Overlord speed is there. So the Dark Temple are getting wiped out. So small victories there from Sins, but I don't know that that's going to be sufficient because this is still four base versus two base. This has been pretty rapidly resaturated at the mineral only. I'm guessing we're going to see a couple rounds of drones because there's just not a lot of pressure that Sins can apply right this second. 
And we still have, yeah, lurkers at each corner. So we've got three lurkers and some hydralists to support. They've already got that plus one weapons. Nice Psystorm storm catching that entire grouping of hydralists to the north to open things up a little bit. The zealots moving out, but they don't have any observer alongside, and they're just fighting right on top of the double zealot line and losing a lot of health. Just going to march straight out, though, to try to create some chaos, maybe force some more production here at the 3 o'clock, maybe natural expansion. Some hydralisks are going to try to chase them down. I'm going to say one thing for zealot. He hasn't done a great job of getting the uh, overlord coverage out on the map. I mean, there's only one Corsair that's been out there. I don't see any additional Corsair that have been produced. So should have some decent vision coverage to make sure that these zealots can easily be contained with minimal defenses. It looks like they are going to be able to sneak into the 3 o'clock. There's only four Hydralisks to provide the defense, so they're outnumbered. So going to have to micro a bit, and that's going to send the drone scattering at the 3 o'clock, but this is still a... Looks like they're going to try to defend themselves with a nice drill right there. Lurker is now morphing to the north, and more Hydralisks pouring in. So Zealot not taking massive losses here. He still, again, has the worker lead. While that's happening, looks like we had a nice storm drop, though, from Sins at the natural expansion, obliterating the drone line. So he's doing a good job from a defensive position, keeping these bases unsaturated and critically keeping the gas lines clear so that it's just not an immense amount of gas to work with. I'm a little bit shocked Zealot hasn't plopped down additional hatcheries to macro off of. Still pushing the upgrades. He's making his way towards that plus two weapons. Let's see, and that shuttle's just going to sit on that corner. Corsair hasn't really been active for sins in the meantime, but starting to move forward with that observer and doing a pretty good job of opening up his front. Going to be able to, not really taking all that much damage and getting what looked like three lickers for free. Zealot backing up to the high ground. He's still got an overall lead. He's still definitely in a stronger position right here, but Sins has put himself in a place where this is recoverable. A lot of Dragoons, some High Templar on the front. Looks like he's still got at least two or three Psy Storms to work with. Gonna blanket it right there. Hydralis now moving up on delay, and it looks like that front door blockade is gonna drop. Some Overlords moving in for a counter drop though, and Lurkers plopping into a cannon line. Let's see if they get a good amount of probes with this. So at least one probe dies, one cannon gone, second cannon gone. So now that Observer is going to be forced back. That's shutting down the natural expansion and it looks like getting a good amount of Overlord kills. Or sorry, those Overlords actually put Zealot in the red, but also got a good amount of probe kills on top of that. So Zealot continuing to hold that overall worker lead, well saturated at all locations it looks like. But let's see if that's momentary as there's another size, another great storm drop getting another good amount of probes. Let's see if he, yeah, he's going to go for a continuation, move on to the main. Not much of a response there from Zealot. And now, sends all of a sudden with a supply lead, a little bit of a scattered army moving out mid-map. Looks like he is going to be able to, yeah, that shuttle being completely undetected, able to get in the main. Going to scoop right back up. This is a shuttle without speed. Hydralis should be able to engage that. That is going to draw some defense forces for Zealot out of position to maybe engage this Dragoon High Templar force that's making its move towards the natural expansion. Lurker's not yet planted. Now finally burrowing. A lot of them a little bit out of range. This is a pretty defensible position though for Zealot because he can just stack units up on the high ground and crash down if Sins overcommits. But good Psy Storms thus far from Zealot. Blanketing that Hydralis group on that natural expansion. There's some fine, there's some macro hatcheries now. Didn't even spot them in the natural uh, natural expansion. A little bit of an odd location for it. Zealot in the red once again. Sins continuing with the 10 supply lead. I think he got the damage he wanted to and doesn't want to overextend to lose his army. He's actually going to end up losing that Archon, but has done some damage and backed right back out. Hasn't made any movements to either grab his own natural or a third at the 9 o'clock, however. Another Overlord drop with a single Lurker moving in. An Observer still there. Might force... No, the Zelts are... Looks like they're going to be able to march up. And really, it looks like Sins is playing kind of all in-ish. He hasn't continued with... He's not continued with the probe production. He's cleared out some bases, and he's just gone very heavy gateway play and continues to produce High Templar. But his main is going to be out in a minute or two. Shortly. And I don't know that he has a crushing enough of an attack force to really punish Zealot on any corner. It looks like an, the Overlord kind of dropped once again at the natural expansion, getting some additional probe kills. The cannon looks like it's going to morph in. I don't think that's in range, though. 
Sins, though, repositioning that army is going to move the long way around to go ahead and assault this mineral only. Beautiful Psy Storms. Blaking all sorts of units. It looks like some Lurkers not yet burrowed. Eating some Psy Storm as well. Some Overlords, I think, on just move. Just, uh, yeah, it looks like that base has been wiped out. So big win there for Sins. Zealot hurting right now. Trying is having to attack uphill into this Dragoon Force. But once these Dragoons are gone, that's going to be two bases left. No army standing. And no third base for Sins. So yes, he wiped out a base, but there's still yet another base. And Zealot now all of a sudden with a 20 supply lead. So more Zealots and High Templar marching out. Looks like they're now finally taking position to go ahead and grab that mineral only. Is that Lurker? That Lurker has been taken out at the natural, but probes are going... This is just going to be straight to base again because I assume the probes are going to have to transfer from the main to make this effective. Plus two weapons is up for Zealot. Has he made any movements? He has gotten a Spire up. If he gets a large amount of gas, you could do that sudden tech switch. I haven't seen any sort of anti-air from Sins in quite some time. Right now, Zealot just piling in to make sure that no additional bases have been taken. This is an absolute skeleton crew of an attack force from Sins, and I don't know that it's going to get much better. Zealot just needs to continue to macro up off his four bases, and he, he should be A-OK. -okay. Kind of spotting everything else in the meantime. Looks like an Overlord has spotted some High Templar. They have some nice base armor upgrades, so I'm not sure how vulnerable they're going to be, but Zealot out of position to help defend this 3 o'clock, so it looks like Sins might be able to wipe out yet another base. Big pile of units blockading that ramp to allow the rest of the units to try to do as much damage as possible in the main. Some Psy Storm on the ramp as well, and man, the Psy Storms have been devastating. Zealot and a Dragoon left to just march. Actually, I would almost want to see a Morphing Archon there on the front, but Zealot not even going to, not even concerned about potentially losing this three o'clock hatchery noticing there's no other bases out there and that the minerals are almost gone and that he's got an economic lead he's just starting to seal the contain back at that natural expansion again we have what's probably the last army for sins for quite some time starting to try to make a breach but honestly this might be too little too late and instead zealot gonna go ahead and grab that six o'clock base so gonna go ahead and i like this play sack the six or the three o'clock Establish the contain and just play from there because we've seen no additional the minerals nearly gone Bottom left and yeah, this might be plenty for Zealot to go ahead and, and finish things off Some, the high Templar making themselves useful and obliterating The Hydralis lines gonna try to take out some additional drones getting a few of them still the economic lead held from Zealot overall He's got a good amount of Dragoons three o'clock base wiped out by that lone Zealot and Dragoon, 6 o'clock base, a little bit of an early drone transfer working right there. And Sins trying to breach the contain from Zealot. And Zealot not reinforcing it looks like. Instead dedicating Hydralis to clear out the, the High Templar and just at the wrong place at the wrong time. And Sins responding. Now, I still don't know that this is going to be a sufficient enough army to establish an additional base for Sins. More Hydralisks moving out. Looks like we've got Two control groups. They, I believe, still have yeah, plus two weapon upgrades. Decently matched upgrades on the opposite side from Sins. Starting to, he's dropped the Nexus. He's going to have to reinforce with his own troops. Zealot not looking to counter it right this second. And Sins, honestly, I think he should back off because this is he doesn't have a lot of additional resources to count on. So I think he needs to preserve this army. But he's looking to pick a fight. So barreling into the six o'clock. Scourge looking to pick off Observers, and it looks like they're going to be able to at least spot the High Templar. High Templar forcing a Psy Storm out, mostly eating Overlord damage. Zealot's able to sneak into the 6 o'clock from the opposite side to preoccupy the Hydralis, but the rest of that army getting obliterated. And with this, so the drones look like they're going to try to drone drill. They're evacuating Zeal uh, as well. Some additional Psy Storms drop. The Zealot's getting cleaned up. The High Templar are going to get cleaned up. The Hatchery will stand, and that should be an easily replenishment of drones here at the six o'clock and zealots still sitting on a lot of bases and the nexus warping in and it's got what two zealots and a handful of high templar to try to defend it although the assault squad from zealots looking a, a bit measly in counter zealot for whatever reason looks like going for a drop i was kind of wondering where his gas and minerals are getting spent he really hasn't continued to drone up after this has kind of played it very very light in the overall worker count High Templar being battered from the low ground. 
It's actually very, very close. So the third, okay, additional base has been established from Sins. Zealot has re-saturated here the six o'clock. Maybe even all of the evacuations and movements hasn't been able to get things done. We have a drop loading up in Overlords. Looks like some additional Hydralisks are making their way to the north. But Sins looks like he wants to try to engage at some location out on the map. So Hydra is now barreling in, attacking that Nexus from the rear, so not, no high ground advantage, decent size storms, forcing the Hydra out of position, but the drop also happening at the main in the meantime. Hopefully gonna go after some tech right there. Now if these Hydralisks, so it looks like they're gonna get caught both directions, but if they group up, they could just power this Nexus down and I think that'll be game. Moving up, only a few, yeah, there's GG from Sins, recognizing that wasn't gonna be enough to defend, so that will be it. Kind of a rough win, but a win for Zealot nevertheless. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.